In this video, we are going to learn about the hormones of pregnancy. In pregnancy, almost all of the endocrine glands of mother increase their secretions due to increased metabolic load on the mother's body. In addition to that, the placenta secrete large quantities of few hormones which are all very essential to maintain a normal pregnancy. We will start with placental hormones. With the development of placenta, the trophoblasts secrete human chorionic gonadotrophin hormone, HCG. HCG is detectable in mother's blood one week after fertilization. And two weeks after fertilization, it appears in mother's urine also, which is used to detect pregnancy at home. The most important function of human chorionic gonadotrophin hormone is to maintain corpus luteum for first 8 to 10 weeks of gestation. In this period, corpus luteum secrete large quantities of estrogen and progesterone. These two sex hormones cause the endometrium to continue to grow and store large amounts of nutrients rather than being shed in menstruation. After first 8 to 10 weeks, the placenta synthesizes its own estrogen and progesterone to maintain pregnancy for the rest of gestation, and the corpus luteum degenerate. If corpus luteum is removed before 8 to 10 weeks, spontaneous abortion occurs always. Estrogen causes enlargement of mother's uterus and breast. It also relaxes the pelvic ligaments of the mother, so the sacroiliac joints and the symphysis pubis become elastic and relatively flexible. These changes allow an easier passage of fetus through birth canal at the time of birth. Progesterone plays essential role for the normal progression of pregnancy. It specifically increases uterine secretions to provide appropriate nutrition for the developing embryo. It also decreases the contractility of pregnant uterus to avoid spontaneous abortion. The fourth hormone secreted by placenta is human chorionic somatomammotrophin, which is also called human placental lactogen. This hormone decreases insulin sensitivity, which in turn decreases glucose utilization in the mother. This makes large quantities of glucose available to the fetus to energize its growth. This hormone also mobilizes the fat stores of the mother, releasing free fatty acid, and provides an alternative source of energy for the mother's metabolism during pregnancy. These were the placental hormones. Now coming to the endocrine hormones of mother. The anterior pituitary gland enlarges up to 50% during pregnancy, secreting large amounts of adrenocorticotrophic hormone, thyrotropin, and prolactin. While the secretion of follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, and luteinizing hormone, LH, is totally suppressed because of the inhibitory effect of estrogen and progesterone from placenta. The thyroid gland also enlarges during pregnancy and increases its production of thyroxine. Increased thyroxine production is caused by thyrotropic effect of HCG secreted by placenta. The mother's parathyroid gland also enlarges during pregnancy, especially if her diet is deficient in calcium. Parathyroid gland causes calcium mobilization from mother's bone to maintain normal serum calcium levels because calcium is required for ossification of fetal bones. There is this hormone called relaxin, which is secreted by placenta. The secretion of relaxin is also stimulated by HCG. Relaxin softens the cervix at the time of delivery. It also serves as a vasodilator, contributing to the increased blood flow to various organs.